What's going on guys, Rockley AC here, bringing you guys an update to my channel. Finally, I know it's been forever. Um, it's been several months since I updated, uh, but I want to thank you guys for your patience and uh, your understanding uh, through my transition from the Dragon Ball TCG game into life, I guess. Uh, as you guys know already, maybe, maybe not, uh, Panini um, dropped the Dragon Ball TCG license um, due to Bandai's um, competing Dragon Ball Super IP that's coming out um, next month, I believe. Um, so unfortunately, the discontinuation of the game um, pretty much gave me a lot of like negative um, feelings, I guess, towards um, not only Bandai, but I guess just like uh, Panini also for lack of promotion in the game and, and whatnot. So there's definitely a lot of holes that I think they could have uh, filled with the game um, that they just never really was able to pull off or, or take off and I think that led to the downfall of the, of the game itself. Um, although I was having um, you know an incredible time with it, uh, made a lot of great friends, uh, a lot of good memories um, and I just wish I kind of participated in a lot more of the OP events because a lot of them were um, pretty much just traveling, traveling with your buddies and stuff and that was like probably the, the part that I missed out the most due to work and everything. Um, but it sucks, um, you know, I've been playing DBC for about eight, two years uh, since the game was released and then, you know, uh, the announcement uh, pretty much sucked the life out of me. So that's why it's been kind of awkward uploading um, or not knowing what to upload uh, because of the lack of content and kind of the news for there. Um, but I'll still be playing Dragon Ball Z TCG every now and once in a while. I still go to our locals, I still support the game, I still support Fan Z. Um, I've been running different kinds of decks lately, um, utilizing a lot of the new cards, the digital printouts from Set 8, um, and I'm still supporting uh, my buddy David Meckler, who's working really hard to get those proxies, those foil proxies that look um, sexy as hell, and um, I'll give you guys a preview if you guys haven't seen that yet, um, but it's on the Facebook um, DBZ um, retro page if you guys haven't seen it. Um, it looks really awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, it sucks that the DBZ game is done, um, but... Again, we still have a good community of people who are still willing to play FanZ. Um, we're even th thinking about incorporating um, the Red Enrage Mastery and um, Black Devious Mastery, which has been out of the rotation list or ban list, so to say, and kind of maybe make some tweaks out of it. Um, we're thinking of pretty much running Red Enraged um, just without Hercule as an MP, because um, obviously shoulder... Uh, shoulder um, damn, it's been so, so long since I haven't played... A, uh, DBZ, or at least like that card, or I'm just really blanking out. But yeah, shoulder shit, whatever that card is. Um, shoulder grab with um, Hercule and just crits, 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 you know, that's just too OP. And then Black Devious, I think there's a couple cards that we could just, um, you know, limit or, or I mean, ban, you know, completely just because, um, you know, discarding like two cards or multiple cards per turn is just nasty. Um, so yeah, uh, that's update, I guess, with the, the local DBZ scene. Um, for like the last, I guess, month or so, or the beginning of the, the last month, we've been um, hogging the Dollar Tree stores because they have Dollar Tree packs of DBZ. So 12-pack DBZ cards from the movie set all the way up to um, set 7 uh, without evolution um, is all like a dollar. And we kind of rated that, rated every Dollar Tree store in the area. Um, so I didn't upload a video on that. I was going to, but it, my old camera kind of died out on me, so I'm using my... Um, cell phone camera, which I think is a little bit more reliable. Um, maybe a little bit of consistency with like uh, quality and stuff. Um, but yeah, so that happened. And then the card world is sh uh, shipping out like a whole bunch of like cards that are like a dollar or less um, per pack or something like that. So that happened. And um, yeah, but um, I'm still playing. I'm still enjoying um, the Dragon Ball card game. Um, it just sucks that, you know, it's pretty much uh, done, you know. They're still planning on setting, um, uh, releasing a digital set nine, um, so hopefully that'll be, you know, still hyped up and stuff. Um, but um, I'll probably I'll be uploading a couple uh, decks that I've been working on. Um, I know PyCon, I've I've been trying PyCon on every single um, uh, uh, style that he can. So my favorites are uh, orange and blue uh, for PyCon, but um, I'll def I'll definitely probably upload that. Uh, within the next uh, week or so, because um, I have that planned. Um, but yeah, moving right along. Um, sorry, I know you guys know this is like all my videos are like uh, long conversational videos. Um, it's not really a deck profile, it's more like an update on my channel. 
Um, so yeah, there's been a lot of activity lately, uh, switching gears now, a lot of been a lot of activity lately on the Naruto CCG page. Uh, I've seen a lot of people um, participating, uh, for those who have been involved in the past, uh, veterans, um, OG players, um, uh, more specifically, obviously you guys know already Anthony Hernandez and uh, Hill Brothers and TO, TAOP crew. Um, they've been really pushing, um, you know, a, a resurgence um, for the game, uh, which is really exciting to see. Um, I noticed it a couple months ago, um, you know, a lot more activity on the forums. And it was just something, um, you know, that was just really exciting for me because uh, Naruto was m definitely my favorite game. Um, you know, I jumped into the Naruto world about two years before discontinuation. And uh, I've been playing it competitively for about a year and a half. And that's kind of when I started getting better. And they hit us with the, you know, Bandai's pretty much discontinuing the game. So that sucked dick. And I was so pissed because, um, you know, we felt like, you know, at least our team or, and me in general was... Um, it was doing so well in the last uh, recent big events, uh, the larger tournaments that, you know, I, I think we were going to, you know, um, create some noise, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting to see a lot of people get involved now. Um, Anthony, um, I see people coming out. Uh, Mardo, Ryan Severin, um, a lot of these guys, Stashy, uh, who are, were big um, influencers in the game back when, you know, we had OP, back when we had, you know, meta games and uh, broken cards that we had discussions and everything with. Um, so it's really exciting for that to come out and um, it kind of brought me out a little bit um, and made me want to get more involved just because it's, um, you know, anything with um, like a revival of a game or anything with like a trend, um, I, I guess I want to participate in or something like that or, or at least, um, you know, make my um, knowledge of the game or, or impact a game, whether that be like deck profiles, tips, um, advice or um, encouragement um, into the Naruto world because that's pretty much um, the time that I had the most fun with in any other CCG card game. Even though I play, only play like three or four card games, um, you know, Naruto was definitely the one that stood out the most because I loved anime. I related to it the most in terms of storyline, in terms of characters, um, and, and the card game in general. So um, it was really exciting for me to see that. So um, you know, once I heard everybody's kind of like um, getting hyped up for the game, um, you know, I kind of wanted to participate in it. Um, it got me kind of, uh, you know, motivated. That Rock Lee AC inside of me kind of came out. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go in. Let's go play some Naruto for all time's sakes. Uh, so a lot of my older buddies seen that there was a lot of activity going on in the forums and um, they were talking about it already. They're like, oh man, let's you know, get the crew back together, let's go play some casual games and whatnot, and um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much, um, I think, how we, we started it. Um, Team Lake County uh, consisted of probably about six, seven members or so, uh, one of our main members who uh, was in, enlisted into the um, Air Force, um, he's in Japan now, but he was, he was the main guy, um, you know, unfortunately, he moved out a year after, a year before the discontinuation, so we couldn't have that nice little run with him um but yeah most of the core group stuck together and i'm um you know i'm grateful that for that um same group who's actually i'm play testing with right now um oh shit right yeah that's big news uh oh, um play testing a couple of cards that um you know a couple decks that i liked in the past um a couple couple little theme decks that i like like tail beast and you know pretty much just trying out all the things that we had fun with and uh it's still really fun and um you know uh there's a there's a couple of us um you know that can not really consistently meet up but maybe once a week or once every two weeks um and we kind of just play for fun um so it really we brought back a lot of memories um, a lot of good memories and um, um looking forward to maybe continuing this um maybe until gen con maybe even before or maybe even um after gen con really depends um, the state of my channel is kind of up in the airs. It's kind of always been, but I have, I've always kind of been consistent with uploading either Naruto content, DBZ content, uh, dancing content, politics or whatever. So, um, right now it's kind of, it might be a mixture of stuff. You know, it might be a little bit DBZ, maybe a little bit Naruto, um, maybe a little bit random things here and there, but that's what you guys can expect from my channel. Um, I know there's a lot of OG people who used to upload a lot of Naruto content. Um, so if you guys are 
wanting to get back into the game. Um, I think it's a really, really great time, too, because everybody's um, pretty much feeling the hype train on it. And it's not only a, it's a hype train, I, I think it's honestly a, a real uh, um, resurgence. Um, you know, the, the last event that happened over Cali had 27 players. You know, that's incredible for a dead game that's been dead for four or five years. Um, that says a lot to the efforts of the community, um, people working together, um, those who want to keep the uh, Naruto CCG dream alive, well, what they say. Um, it, it's uh, it's pretty impactful, and, and I think it'll really reach a lot, or really, really reach out to a lot of um, other players, both veterans and new players um, alike. You know, so I really think that the effort that Anthony is doing and TOP is going to really push. Um, you know the limits of a dead card game and I think it can be really possible if we all you know chip in and work together um, so you know that I hope with this announcement it gives more encouragement for others to come out and be like hey maybe we should jump in have some fun you know YOLO uh, you only live once and you know no regrets why not have fun uh, the next couple months maybe leading up to Gen Con maybe going to Gen Con um, you know maybe win some cash money on the side maybe some good prizes have fun with the game um and and just uh enjoy enjoy um you know good company and and a good game um you know with the people that um you know are just just dope dope ass people so that that's my kind of my mentality lately you know um maybe it's a good thing that naruto happened just because uh, dbz died maybe it gave me more chance to kind of open up to other card games um and um you know, everybody's talking about like different card games that are coming out like meta x or um drag Mall's super um, I don't know what my direction is at the moment, um, so for right now I'm still sticking to fa Fanzi and uh, Naruto on the side. So um, that's exciting, I, I think, for a lot of you guys um, who may have known, known me in the past, um, especially a lot of the YouTubers who I've consistently contacted with either through like trade, trade binder updates or trades um, in general or deck profiles. I know a lot of you guys showed mad support for me um, in the past and I, and I hope you still do. Um, you know, want to catch up with a lot of you guys who I haven't seen with or haven't talked to with for the past several years. I, I still have some Facebook friends who had transitioned from YouTube to Facebook, which is amazing. And, um, you know, they're really showing me support for my transition from Naruto to DBZ. So I just want to say thank you guys for all that. Um, but yeah, look forward to um, deck profiles of both DBZ Fanzi and Naruto CCG. Uh, maybe some random meta discussions, maybe a couple games going on, uh, just for more content. Um, I know a lot of people out there, uh, not a lot of people, but, well, actually, here, let me rephrase it, I'll say this first. A lot of people are looking forward to uh, content um, that will definitely help spread more awareness to the game. Um, but also, um, you know, a lot of the YouTubers out there will appreciate um, that, that that sort of advertising, too. Um, but yeah, um, damn, I talk a lot, but there's a lot to update for the past two months or so. Uh, but yeah, really exciting things, guys. Um, I'm excited to bring my knowledge and my understanding of the game um, back onto the uh, Naruto kind of community. Um, it definitely wasn't the best, and it definitely wasn't, you know, the most um, uh, deadly threat out there. Um, but, I, but I think I like to play a couple decks that were kind of outside the norm, kind of. And a couple card choices that were like, oh damn, I didn't know you could play this or, you know, make this card kind of viable and stuff. So it was going to be really interesting um, now that the the list is kind of unlimited or like rogue list and stuff. So that should be fun. Um, but yeah, right now I'm really just um, blabbering because I really am just excited for the event. Shut up, phone. Um, I'm just really excited for the things that are upcoming for the Naruto game and um, future things going on in this channel. And I hope you guys are excited and enjoying me with this. Um, like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. Um, if you guys are big Naruto fans uh, like me, um, subscribe, like, look forward to a lot of the videos. And um, um, if you guys haven't seen my videos before in the past, please do so. Um, I do have, like, I think I organized my YouTube into, like, different categories so you can see, like, Naruto deck profiles and stuff of... of stuff in the past and uh but yeah i'm excited rock the ac is here guys uh who knows maybe team lake county's ready to take down um you know akatsuki um but but looks like uh the leaf held its own too but who knows who knows maybe who may come out of the shadows um who knows 
what kind of other teams might be brewing up um, behind the scenes um, or maybe people that we might be working with. Who knows? Who knows? Um, that's the exciting part, I think, is the thrill of it and the fun of it. And um, I think a lot more people will be coming out um, soon um, in, a, in a straight way. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again for uh, staying, uh, staying awake in my 15-minute video. Hope you guys like it and, and, and um, expect a lot of good things from it. And um, can't wait to upload things. So yeah, uh, thank you guys. Subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Shoutouts to everybody. Um, let's uh, keep these games going on and uh, um, just uh, have a blast with it while you're having, while you're having fun with um, everybody in the community. So yeah, peace out, guys. Talk to you later.